Okay guys, welcome. Uh, I have got a bit of a hiccup, so I want to try and finish it today. I want to try and get the animation ready for today. So, next episode, which will be the final one, which will probably come out before all of these, is... No, actually, uh, it'll come out after, is because we're going to actually put in sound and audio in that into this. So, I have watched the cap f shield throw multiple times, and if you look... <laughs> hold on. He throws the shield... Catches the shield, throws it again, kicks the shield, and it gets stuck. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to have him lean into the throw, throw the shield, flip, and kick it. Okay, so that's what we want to do in this one. Then, obviously, if you notice, I delete the shot. We're going to add it back. In this shot, this is where he's going to run up, and he's going to kick the shield. So, before we animate them, we're going to move everything over. And that's where he's going to kick the shield. I have the hiccups, so that's getting on my nerves. And he's going to kick the shield. And that's where he's going to chop the arm off. In this shot right here. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to be like, oh, maybe we could add like little hints towards future things. Because I always love putting hints to future things in here. You know? Which, believe me, there will be a lot of hints to future things in this like we're gonna have maybe we'll have like Tony actually hold on wait where's this yeah maybe we'll have like Tony Stark over there in the bottom corner because obviously the camera's just gonna be shaking and following Cap and stuff like that I'm also just watching to see all the camera angles for the throwing of the shield maybe I'll do this one I think we're going to go this. Like We're actually going to go with the shield hitting the camera. See, because this was the one we looked at yesterday. This is the uh, Marvel's Avengers game one. Which is just the shield doing that. And it shows you everything here about the shield. Um, what's this one? We saw this one yesterday. What's this one? It's just the shield. What's well, on like that? So we'll pull the... So, in this shot, we'll have him pull his arm, this arm back. So, first, if I look at one of the shots, mm. we're going to have, right, okay, yeah, I know what we're going to do. We're going to, come out of camera. We're going to lean him into everything, right? So, we're going to start up with him being leaned into it all. We don't want to raise anything. Or lower anything. So we. Oh, I still have hiccups. So basically, we want to start from here and just easily, gently him in. We want to ease him gently into the throat. Then we want to straighten his head out. So obviously, he, when he bends into it, he bends fully into it and then he moves back. So we'll probably do that then. Then we go grab the shield, hold on. And this is the starting position that he's in, hold on. So, this leg actually goes like this, but goes right behind this leg. I'm just trying to... If I can stop hiccuping for like two seconds! And then this leg actually comes around like this for a bit. There we go. And then we have this bit here, his toe. That's, that's, that's how he does it. Because then, after he throws the shield, we're going to have him turn like that. So this arm will go back. Then it will go... Forwards and up, so it'll go like this on them. So it'll go back, forwards, into like, say he's going into like a dabbing position or something, and then his whole body here will just turn. Not, not like that though. Not like that. It'll go here and turn. So now we actually put the shield in its position, and then we get ready to throw it. You know. 
You have to do certain animations before you do other animations. You have to put them in certain places before you do other things as well. So that's what I'm trying to do at the minute. Is put Cap in... S oh, I can't stop here, Cap in. It's actually getting on my nerves. No, okay. Yeah, you have to get him in certain positions before he does certain things. Maybe we just turn it a little bit more. Turn it in that way. Yeah. Pull it into the arm this way. There we go. Oh, so you can see his fingers there, which means this is not covering. There we go. There you go. His hand's basically where that strap would go across. <laughs> As you heard that there, that was a hiccup. Uh, hopefully, we can actually finish this. Actually, he looks quite good, not gonna lie. He looks like a zombie, though, so I think maybe we need to lower this. Yeah, we need to lower this arm a bit. Not that. There you go. Okay, now he's in position, he's ready to throw the shield. So, what we want to do now is you want to go in here. You want to go straight into here. So, you want it to start off instantly. So. No, actually, you don't want to stop instantly. You want to hold this position for a few seconds. So, for 11, for 10 seconds, he's going like that. And then, he's pulling... Hold on, let me look at the thing. He's pulling this arm. Oh, wait, hold on. What did I have to press M on? So, we want to go 10 seconds in, right? We'll go, we'll go five seconds extra after that. Not even seconds, bro. That's going back. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he isn't going to hold it back and then throw. He's actually just going to pull his arm back and then launch it. So it's literally, you're not going to press M on this one. You're just going to fling. Like that. So let's see how that looks. He's just going to fling. Obviously, it doesn't look the best because this whole bit here is a bit flumpy. And there you go. But we're gonna long make this a little bit longer. It needs a bit more speed to it. Yeah, it needs a bit more speed to it. Flick. There you go. So now we grab the shield and then we make the shield animation where the shield moves or. We finish the cap animation off, which we will. So after he has thrown the sh shield, we want his so right there. As soon as his arm, right here, we want to go over like right there. And you want his whole body that as soon as his arm comes. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. Oh, I mean. Ready? As soon as his arm hits there, that means it's go time. You have to turn your whole body. So pull that back a little bit because then that'll be before his arm hits. He moves a bit too slow there. I want to move him fast like he's flicking it. So now he's moving. <laughs> uh, still got the hiccups. Then you want to grab this part of his body. So you want to grab these two spine pieces. See, that's just a little flick. Alright, so now we go in here. And now we're flicking it even more over that way. We don't want him to go all the way over that way, so we want him to just go there. But we want his head to stay in the same position after he throws it, right? No, so we want... Right, so we do want it to go a bit over, okay? I'm watching it. This is the first time I've actually done this like this. Right? Oh, right, we want to go over here. When does he start standing up straight though? And when does that happen? Right at the end for some reason. Oh, because that's over on the next shot. Okay. It does look a bit weird, I know. It definitely looks a bit weird, but when it's all done, it'll look good. Mm. So that that's hit now. Now the thing is This whole bit here, we wanna move his head kind of with it so we want to kind of have it there because then his head straight after it hits that he needs to move his head back 
to look where the shields go in. So he is going flick shield and then he looks. Maybe we should hold this position a little bit. So we hold the position. Then you press M. So M's really just hold position, but but without the key, he's just doing the animation. Like if I if I was to do it here, he would start in the position that I've moved him in. You know? Without the M key, he doesn't keep the position he was already in. He will change his position. And then his head moves back and looks. Over that way. There we go. So, and then he'll probably go back into his like little fighting stance. No, because then we want him to. Then we want him to put his leg back, but then jump off of the leg and then spin and kick the sh the shield back, and then it will go into him. Cap will then pull the shield back. In the next shot, he'll run, smack it down. Arms cut. The arms come off. We'll probably put blood exploding, just like the head one. The blood explodes, and then the arm just disappears. All right, and that will be that. And then he will drop to his knees and die. Now, the last question is... Like, that's all great and all, but how many shots do we do it in? Like, do we have a separate shot to watch him die or something like that, you know? How are we going to kill him off? We'll see when we get to that part. Right now, let's finish up the shield throw. So that's that, really. He's actually done it. So this one will hit him and bounce off. But Cap will already be in his next position to to get the shield back. No, he'll be in his next position. So he'll be he'll already be jumping and flipping. And then the shield should come back and hit him in the foot. <laughs> and then he'll kick it. And then it'll go back into him and that'll be that. So now let's work on the shield part. Right. So shield. We grab it. It's already moved. <laughs> so it's there we need to start it. Hold on, hold on. Buzzle, the shield has got to move the arm. The shield has always got to move the arm. I probably should have connected it to be honest and then it would have done it anyways. But it's like, then I have to disconnect it. And then do the other stuff. Which is definitely easier to do than what I'm doing. But I want to show you what it's like to do this. To make it look like it's real. So the shield's being pulled back. So let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, because it actually looks like it's being pulled back. And then... I don't know how we're going to do this part. Now we are... He doesn't move again, right? Okay, he doesn't. So now we're going to grab the shield. We're going to move it up. And over to here, right? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure there's no M key here. Right? Oh, you know, because that's it. He's flicking it off. That's the whole point in this belt. So, the next few shots, it will actually be cap. So, here, it will follow it. So, it'll go doom. To there. Right to there, and then the shield is off. Now the shield is going flick, kind of. So it will go this way, but then it also go into him. So it'll go boom, 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 boom. It won't. It will pierce. The only thing that's piercing is this pad here. It's gonna pierce this pad, and then in the second shot, it's gonna go right for it, which is gonna be perfect. So the shield will now start to like straighten itself out. A bit. And it will move up a bit because obviously he's flicking it off of his hand. At a specific angle and then boom. Now that will just pierce that part. Now I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Alright, is that in? That's in. Okay, so it is piercing some of the skin as well, which would make sense, because it should be piercing the skin. Now we'll just see how this shot goes, really. I mean, it's good, but it's too quick. It's too good. You know? We don't want that. 
Still a bit too quick to be honest in my opinion, but it's perfect. Whew. Right, so, uh, yeah. So just flick off his hand and then go in. That actually looks really good. I'm surprised with that. I'm actually really surprised about that. Whoosh. And now, the shield will stay in that position for a few seconds. Because obviously you won't notice it's stuck in this position. But the worst part is, now we got to straighten all this out. Or else it will be weird and then this part won't actually, like... It does this, and I don't like that. I do not want that to be... Look, because it moves around in there, and we don't want that. I mean, it does look like it's bouncing out here. So I guess after that bit, the shield is now bouncing back anyways. So it will be going this way. But then it's like, where's Cap's foot? You know? The shield will shake itself out as well. And Cap's foot will probably be down here. And then he'll kick it. And then it will just... After it, because literally he'll kick it and it will just go... Fitting right back into him. Which is why it's going to have a weird movement. Hopefully we can get to where Cab actually kicks it in that part. If not, we're going to have to change that whole bit around. Which is perfectly fine. And it's going to go right back in the same spot. Right back in there. Bit down, obviously, because, you know, that's where the line is, right there. And this time it's pierced it. Boom. This time it actually is going to go more than, I'd say more than halfway for this one. So we'll straighten all this out and we'll see what the whole thing looks like here, ready? This is it, right? Oh no, whoa, 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 I actually flew outside the wall. We're supposed to be seeing what happens. Shield throw, shield bounce back, shield kicks there, boom. That actually works really, really well. But I might make it a little bit quicker because when he kicks it, you know, the shield is definitely going to have more power with the kick. So it's definitely going to want to go a little bit quicker. So it's going to go boom. Maybe a little bit faster than that. Perfect. Now we're going to watch that on here. We're going to watch that from this camera. So this is actually one of my favorite. This is actually one of the most fun animations I've ever made. And I'm making it on a video, so... Yeah, Discord, what's going on Discord? Oh, well, that's happening, okay. Well, we're trying to animate at the minute, so we can't really do that. Shield throw, shield bounces back. And if you notice, look at that. The shield goes there. We don't want it there. That's not the position we want it. So obviously, when we actually get the shield um, back here, then obviously we'll move it over to like here. And then he'll kick it, and it will be down a bit, you know. Because all you have to do is position it on the keys. So if the keys are wrong, you just position the keys. You just hop on the key, and then you're like, okay, this position needs to be changed. Is it too far in? Yes, it is. Pull it out a bit. Because it's just the key that you got to change, you know. If you've done a wrong key, change it. But if there's, like, say there's, like, a bit here that doesn't fix. Like, do you know how Cap's arm goes all the way around, and the shield doesn't go around it? You can just move the shield with it, but you have to put it in a specific spot, or else the shield looks like it's just jumping there. And it looks off and, 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 and weird, so we don't want that. So how does this look now? So, Cap's thrown the shield, bounced it back, that's going to be the kick, and that's going to be in. There we go, see, that's a good animation right there. That's perfect, that's exactly what we want. Shield is done, kind of. Now, we need to work on very quickly how to get Cap in the next position, like... What is going to make Cap look like he's trying to get back in the jumping position? So, first of all, we hop into his leg. Straight after the first shield throw. So, shield throw. Turns his head. Instantly there. Get him ready into his next position. So, he's pulling this leg right back to where it was. Alright. It's going to look a bit weird and funky, I know. This leg right here is going to do the same. Like, all of these are going to move at the same time just so that they can have everything getting ready for it. There we go. Now, obviously, it's not perfect, but it's not going to be perfect because he's about to go into a jumping position. He is getting ready to jump. How we're going to do that is we're going to lift one leg 
up. He's then going to move up. And then his other leg is going to go on its tiptoe. And then it's going to hop off of the tiptoe. So then it's just going to come up a little bit more. Then he's going to do a spin. His leg is going to... One of his legs are going to stay back. And the other leg is going to kick out. Maybe you might have to do that in real life. Like you might have to see how do you do like a flip kick. Or maybe you're going to have to watch a video on how to do a flip kick. And then you can just slow the video down and look at each little keyframe to do it. So his arm, we might actually have him do like a hand one where he puts his hand on the ground, flips like that. And then like, I don't know, something like that, you know, because I don't really know what to do here. Because this is like, all right, we're going to put the hand. Oh, we did not want that. We're going to go back in here. Leg starts moving there. So that means the keyframe is there. Leg stops moving there, so that means that's where the last keyframe is. That goes down like that. That goes out. You turn that. That goes back in. That's back in position. Next up, we pull that back. Then we go into this body part here. Turn that back. Then we go into this, you know, we're going to make sure none of this, like, because if you notice, it's all moving here. It's not straight, that's why. So it's going to do weird, dumb stuff. There we go. So now it will not move in this position until there. I know it's a bit fast, but, you know, we have to cut it very quickly. Or, because obviously it's not real, it's an animation, we could cut a shot here. And then we can have him standing in his position, and then he can jump. But we've already made the shield move, so I think it's just a nightmare. Or we can literally press a key and then have him instantly just change into a position right there. Which means he would have already done the animation before you even got to see him do anything. Which I don't really want, you know? I want you guys to actually witness. There we go. There you go. Yeah, I think we should just have these, like, his hands next to him. I know, like, that's a bit lazy, isn't it? And it's like, yeah, it's true, that is lazy. But it's like, that's the best I could do for now. Like, in the future, yeah, I can definitely do better. That's the point of this, right? We make lousy animations, and then we make the really good ones in the future already. This arm is so weird. I hate this arm so much. Yeah, it's roughly it right and then it comes out a little bit so now he's done all this that is actually weird right because he flicks it all and then it goes into a position what the heck is happening he's not straight oh it's because of this bit here yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I pressed the wrong thing. Yeah, okay. So you want to be on this key. As you noticed, I went on the wrong key just now. Now we're on the right key. Okay. So now we're going to grab this bad boy. So he's in position there. He's going to jump here. Because the shield's already returning. The shield is coming back fast. So we're going to do this bit first. We're going to go up. Right, we don't want to go that far up. Because obviously we still want his tiptoe on the floor. And then you want to go up again. Here. A little bit more. And then you want him to go over. And then. So you want to bend him back a bit. Flip. Him. I don't think that's going to do anything Yeah, because he's just there So when he gets to there You want like, I want the shield to be there When he's flipping Like, Where does the shield hit? There it hits It hits right there right? It hits right there So we want him already in the Backward position Because This leg right here 
This one, I think it is. Yeah. It's going to come up and be straight here. And then right here, the bottom part of this leg is going to come up like this. And then his foot. Oh, wait, let me just get back in position. Oh, it's already in position. Nice. This foot is now going to come up. And it's going to go right on there. Like, he's now going to... So, basically, now the shield pack here needs to move out a little bit. It needs to come out a little bit. Because that's where the foot is going to kick it. You don't want it to pierce the foot. You want it to hit the foot. Which is why we're going to turn the foot that way. And then... Like you really want it close as it can get to touching it. There you go. So now he does some weird move. Actually looks good. I'm actually really surprised this animation. I'm really surprised how well this goes. Like this whole animation I've been rushing and I thought it'd be a ruined animation, but man, it just works. It all fits, it all just goes together. Every single part just complements each other. It's like, shield throw, go, jump, kick. That actually looked like he kicked it there. Because instantly, Shadri kicks it, we're going to move his leg in. We're going to, it's like we're trying to shove his leg in. Because obviously, when you kick something, your leg doesn't just stay still where it kicks it. Your leg doesn't just, you don't kick something and then your foot stays exactly where it's been hit. It moves a bit, it jiggles, as you would say. It's really nice out today. I'm kind of sad I don't get to go out. But, that ain't why we're here, right? So we're going to go in this leg here. And it's going to move. Actually, no, wait. We don't want that yet. As soon as it leaves, the leg's going to go in. And then it's going to go back out. Love it, so look. I feel like we should make this a little bit longer, like it happens... Just a little bit longer. Now, one more. Perfect. So we go boom. And it's like it just shoots it back. Boom. <laughs> That's perfect. That's actually really, really good. And then obviously right here, you want to move everything back into its position. Like after that happens, I'd say here, go around to here, get his leg back in position. It's a very, it's not the best thing ever, like, getting him back in position. It just doesn't look as good, but. Because now the shield's going to be in him. Yeah, the shield has already been in him. It's already pierced him. It pierced him right before he's about to put his leg back. Right. And then we go into here. Right, so it will be as he's... So, while his legs are bad, when his leg starts to go down, right there, and his his whole leg has gone down there, he's going to flip back around, okay, and then he's going to go down, like that. Obviously, if you notice, we haven't done Cap's head either. And then we're going to go across a bit and then we're gonna just drop him instantly. Because that makes sense, right? By the way, this leg here is his main leg, so we'll probably sort this one out in a minute. It looks very weird. He looks very, very weird. He's definitely bent forwards a bit too much, to be honest. Oh, yeah. That should be it, right? Yeah, that's all right. Because this is his leg that did the uh, move, wasn't it? Yeah, hold on. Maybe, now we See, we have to keep going in here to straighten everything out because it's too much hassle going into certain things just to straighten everything out. I 
It looks good, but now we've got to make it look more realistic. So now we've got to add all the other leg parts that move, all the other arms that are going to move. Like, so now we grab this, and now we find his jump kick ones. So throw. This isn't the one, this is just him throwing it. Uh, that's cool, this is kind of the thing we were doing with the uh, shield. Like, he's going to pull it in like that. That's one that I want to do. I want to try and do this move on one of the characters. That's exactly what the shot was going to be. So originally, at the end, he was actually going to grab the shield out of the wall. So it was actually going to end with the shield in the wall. And then Cap was going to walk up and pick it up. There wasn't going to be no dead guy at the end. There was going to be no fight scene. He was just going to walk up, grab the shield exactly how Sam grabs it. Or Anthony Mackie on the Falcon grabs it, he just grabs it with his two hands, pulls it out of the wall and that's it, you know, also the shield is very different, and I do like this one, it just looks really, really nice, are we getting Hydro Cap, maybe, I'm just questioning that, that this is one of the shots that I love making, it's just putting the shield back on his back, or, you know, stuff like that, or something like this, you know, this is what I want to make, obviously if you've seen the film, Cap has a massive cut across his arm, and he's put the shields, um, buckle across his arm and it's, it's closed his wound up but obviously we can't do something like that like, that's cool see he's that one on that one he's on his toe and spins which is not what we're doing we're going with him jumping and kicking look at that tap look at that leg kick boop boop So let's work on this part here where he moves up, alright? So this leg would have already started doing its movement. Oh wait, no, it hasn't started its movement. Ah, it's a naughty leg. Oh, I don't think we can animate this bit because of where the, all them keys are. We can try, we can try, we can try, I don't care. We're trying. But does that leave the rest? Oh wait, no, that's perfect. Yeah, because he's jumping at this point. It's going to be quite a long episode. Alright, so. Now. This leg. Alright, he's going to be moving up. So, really, we don't want to touch this leg. Really, it's the foot and the toe we want to touch. So. If we go back here, grab his foot. Right, so we're going to grab his foot right here. Press M. Go across as he's moving up. You want to keep the foot. Just point it down. Nose down. Because then the foot looks like it's actually moving up with him. It's not an internet tutorial. It's a source filmmaker tutorial. There is a difference. So yeah, then you're going to grab his toe and go like that. And then when he starts doing... Look, so now it looks like he's doing the flip with this leg. Now it looks like he isn't trying to flip. Let's so say he's just doing a spin. Which I guess we can have that instead. But my only problem is, is the way he turns back around is, look, he just turns that way. I want him to do a full spin. So, how to do that is, I'm assuming, you go in here. When he turns back here, instead of him turning... Sorry, that's his leg moving, right? Is this all straight? This is all straight, right? Yeah, okay. I don't want him to turn back that way, though. I want him to go this way. Okay, so now we're gonna think. Hold on. Oh my god. I keep pressing the wrong button. It's so annoying here because uh, he needs to go that way around. 
you know? Alright, so... Does he spin? Oh, no, it doesn't work. See, so, yeah, he's just gonna have to spin back around, so it's literally just gonna have to be... Which doesn't look good. Yeah, it just doesn't look that good, to be honest. Oh yeah, this foot also needs to, after it's done this... Spin... M there... Then this goes up. Nice. Also, this needs to all be flat. As the foot will move around. Whee! Cool. So now we just gotta move his arms around while he's doing this. Alright, so. What does it look like on here? Hold on, let's grab it. Hmm, that one doesn't really count. That's someone throwing a shield. Um, mm, that's not a movement. That's cool. I wish I could do something like that, but I can't. I don't. If I had Blender, I could definitely do something like that. Can't do that either. Because they're not what I'm trying to do. Wait, what? The shield just disappeared. Oh, yeah, they fell off as he tried to throw it. Oh, that makes sense. It goes into smoke because then you're not meant to see it. And it looks like he's throwing it. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, I want all that wind in the ice in the 75. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we could do that. Now it's just the arm movement, really, to be honest. There you go. The arm goes back in. And it turns a bit. Boom. So I think that should be it for that shot. Let's see what happens, alright? Let's just see. We might have to move the camera over a little bit. Because, yeah, the focal point isn't the shield, which is what we want. The whole point is the shield is the main thing you're watching. So, we're going camera. Then we grab this. And now we're going to move it. To We're going to do it like... I don't know, because we want it. Zoomed in on. Oh, I hate this. The only problem with this, like, map or the house. It just looks so weird when he's just doing the flip. It doesn't just, say like he's just turning around. But that'll be it for now. Now we got the final shot, which is him pulling the shield back. But we'll do that in the final episode. So we're going to record one more and then. That will be the him running in, cutting the arm off, and that will be the end. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one.